Hello and welcome. My name is Kevin Kaufman and this is Fred Weaver. We're Group 4610. Thank you for visiting our website today. There's tons of information on this website about short sales and real estate information. And today specifically, Fred wants to talk to you about the credit consequences of a short sale. Yeah, well, you know, a lot of people get really scared when it comes to a short sale. They, they really want to sell their house and be able to get out from underneath that asset that is now way underwater right and and you know a lot of folks say well you know I, I would do it but I just don't want it to affect my credit well I'm here to just bring some truth to you today and let you know that anytime you miss a mortgage payment or any other payment on something that reports to your credit report there's going to be a consequence to that now that doesn't mean you got to get hung up over it credit does not define you and that's one of the things that I want messages I want to bring to you today is that your credit does not define you yes there are going to be some consequences to doing the short sale okay Sure. And one of those consequences is that when your short sale closes, it's going to report on your credit report something to the effect of settled or paid in full and less for less than full amount. It's going to show that the bank didn't actually get as much money as you owed them. Now, on the flip side of the coin, if you were to stop missing mortgage payments and your home goes to foreclosure, it's going to have the horrible word foreclose or foreclose on your credit report and that's a word you don't want on there True. for applying for jobs in the future applying for cars in the future applying for a future home purchase maybe you want to buy a home down the road well Kevin tell them about the beauty of doing a short sale and having a short sale reported on your credit report and the difference between a short sale on your credit report and a foreclosure when you want to go buy another house yeah. sometime I simply put it's it's this if you allow your home to go to foreclosure with current guidelines you're gonna be waiting at least seven years I mean, the banks out there that are le that do lend money, that, and there's not many of them lending money anymore to buy a home. You're talking about a seven-year waiting period before you can buy a home again if you have a foreclosure on your record. However, if you do a short sale, you can borrow money again to buy a home in as little as two years. So if you can keep wow. everything else together, you can pay your credit card bills, you pay your car payments, everything like that on time. In as little as two years, you can qualify to buy a new home. Wow. Now that's pretty good, especially taking advantage of the market that we're in. You know, we're gonna have to ride this up for quite some time. And if you're the homeowner that wants to recoup, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe what you lost in your last home in over short sale because you put a large down payment down, this is your opportunity. Do a short sale, mm -hmm. recapture that money by buying at the bottom of the market and not having to wait seven years when prices are back up. Yeah, I wanna speak, lastly, and <clears throat> close this up, I wanna to speak to you out there who have never missed a mortgage payment in your life or you've worked really hard, maybe you had bad credit before and you've worked really hard to rebuild it. Um, consider more than just your credit in this situation. You've got family, you've got future savings, you've got retirement, you may have kids' colleges, you may have a, you wanna move out of state in the future. So many people get hung up on their credit. And I'm not, I'm not advocating that people just, you know, blow their credit and stop missing payments, but there's more important things in life than your credit. And I want to encourage you to make your decision around your home, around the things that are important to you in your life, not just around a score that is associated with your name. Absolutely. So thanks so much for joining us here today. Please fill out this form here on our website or give us a phone call. We really want to speak with you and we'd love the opportunity to talk you through some things, talk around any questions you might have and really assist you with making the right decision for you and your family. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.